Because I don't believe it. Tell it to the monkey. Or uh, whatever. Robot. Roblox. Guys, get settled. Get settled, you little Monchi cheese. You little, you little stamps. You little scallops. Gallop on over, you little stamps. Clown us to the rescue is going live right now. Gallops, let's jump into this mess. This big sack of potatoes here. We got a good one. My God. All this stuff lined up looks like a, what do you call it? Smorgasbord. thing as squids. What? I've seen them. Come on. No, 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 no. Those are just flattened out fish with little bitty uh, arms. Really? That's weird. It's very confusing to a robot, I'm sure. 
Hey. Oh, hey. Showtime. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Start the I show. I think squids are real. Stop talking about squids and start the show. This is your wake up call. Time to reach. Go for it all. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Are you kidding me? I saw so many shoes out and I just went, why not me? Yeah. Ron and Jane and Duke and the Wicked, what happened to you say clown posse? And you're watching Clownfish to the rescue! I thought you knew! Woo woo! And it starts right now! Wednesday night, it's hump day some places, that's what they call it. All across the nation, it's clown this, clown this to the rescue. We're flying through space, but we're on our way home. A big month ahead, but everybody knows on clown this, every month is a big month. Because it's all good. It's all in fun, so get in the pit and try to love someone. Fall with the ball, bang a dang, diggy diggy diggy, set the boogie. Hup, rup, nyay boogie, I'm clown this. That's me, and I am here to rescue you. Bahiga, Botswana, Boomshanka, Brumhilda, Boomshanka, Brumhilda, Amigo, Basquala. On clown this to the rescue you, you oh, clown this to the rescue. It's the name of the program. We gave it a name. Thank you very much. Get me off of Squeeb, take me off of the alien spaceship. Put me inside. Yeah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a live transmission, live stream, live feed. Clown to the Rescue, episode 218. We are coming to you live from outer space. John W. Davis in the Super Chats, the first to connect. J-Dub, first to connect in the Super Chats. Oh, actually, maybe J-Dub wasn't. Maybe we got a lot of Super Chats. The Buffster. Clapping. Gale Skier. Clapping. That's fantastic, guys. We do have a big show tonight. I don't want to uh, dilly-dally too much. What we got to do first is something that we always do. We got to check in with the crew. Uh, and then I got, I got some exciting stuff to share with you. And this show tonight... Might get a little... It might get a little... Um, how do you say saucy or spicy? I think me and Brainina95 might kiss tonight, so stick around 
if you might want to see that boombastic action. Nobody's ever seen that. A clown kissing a robot? That might be illegal in some places. I don't know. We didn't Google it. But um, what I'll do right now, ladies and gentlemen, check in with Squeeb. Let's see if we can get a uh, room on this guy. So here's the deal. Before, I, before we check in with Squeeb, let me tell you this. We are uh, currently uh, the spaceship, although it doesn't look like it out my window. Uh, we're currently in ra- route, in route, back to Laramie Studios on planet Earth. Uh, we took a, I would call it a sabbatical or a vacation, but uh, actually what we did was, um, I mean, we just floated around space and then did the exact damn thing we would have done at home. We put on the show two nights a week. Uh, we had some fun. We, uh, you know, did 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 same thing we would do on Earth, but we were in space. So that's it's been nice, but it is time to go home. I do miss Laramie Studios, and um, we can have a, a lot more, not a lot more fun. I mean, how much more fun could you have? But we can have a lot of fun in space. Uh, but so that being said, we're clearing things up. We're moving things around, and we are getting ready for a very big February. And I know my alien friend Squeeb wants to talk to you guys because he's an alien. Uh, Squeeb, how you doing, buddy? Squeeb, not around. Did he clear out his stuff already? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Is he gone? He's not there, huh? Hold on a minute. Uh, okay. Squeeb cleared out his room. I don't know where he is. Let me ask this crew up front. Uh, hey, guys up front, can you hear me? Sorry. Hey, guys up front. Can you hear me? Where did, uh, does anybody know where Squeeb is hiding? I don't see him. Didn't he tell you? He's having an alien dance party. I'm sorry. What? He's having an alien? Yeah, he's in the goose room having an alien dance party. In the goose room? I, I didn't know that. Um... Okay, let me check into this. Sorry, gang. This is kind of uh Squeeb is supposed to be in his he's supposed to be in his room. He knows it's showtime. Uh he's not definitely not there. You're saying he's in the goose room? I have not seen the goose. I have not seen the goose in, in, in weeks. I, I know we saw the goose once in space. Hold on here. Let me filter down to the goose. This is the goose room. Oh, well, there is some noise come picking up on my meter from the goose room. What are they doing in there? Is it an alien dance party? Oh. 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 Buddy? Goodness. Hey, man. What's up, dude? What's what is going on? It's an alien dance party. What does it look like? No, I know that, man. But who are the who are those people? Ah, uh, they're cool, man. They're aliens like me. They're friends with the goose. Where's the goose? I have not seen the goose in a long time. Uh, I don't know. I think he got sucked out or something. The goose got sucked yeah, out. Yeah, su- something about a window. And the goose got sucked out. I don't know, dude. We're dancing. You want to come dance? Not right now. No, man. I got to do the show. We're we're doing the show. I get it, dude. I get it. We'll keep this party going. You come in whenever you want, all right? All right. I might, I might come in and dance later. Yeah. I'm dancing. Yeah. All right. It looks like a good party. Good dancers, really. I mean, I kind of, I kind of do want to go in there. I'm kind of jealous. All right, Squeeb, 
turn it down. Just turn it down. Thanks. The uh, Squeeb is in the goose room having an uh, alien dance party. I'm sorry. Did you say the? Go- I think you said the goose got sucked down. Bra- it's Brainina's goose. Um, sorry, guys. We will get the show started here in just a second. Uh, Brainina, where is the goose? What happened to the goose? The goose got sucked out. What are you talking about? The goose got sucked out. Yeah, sucked out. What do you mean? How? Muff, muff, you can tell him. Right, so I wanted a bit of fresh air, so I went into the goose room, I cracked a window, and... The goose got sucked out. How, how did the goose get sucked out? What does that mean? I'm not a scientist. I don't understand gravity and wind. But, uh, yeah, it got sucked out. Well, I'm... Brainina, I'm sorry to you. I know you love that goose. That's not, not good. It's no big whoop. We can get another goose. Oh, well, that's a pretty good attitude to have. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you guys fly the ship. I'm going to do the show. That was weird, you know. I've never seen a goose sucked out like that. Yeah, it was weird as hell. You guys, turn your mics off. I don't need to hear you talking about... All right, so the goose got sucked out. What do I know? I I, I guess there's gravity and, 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 and wind. If you open a window up here, you, you, a goose might get sucked out. Um, all right. Well, we know what happened there. The goose got sucked out. Oh, we got a big, uh, big, uh, it's not a big announcement, but we got a good announcement now. I just got word from Robert Dog, and this pertains to how and if I will be kissing Brainina95. Let me tell you guys, if you remember on the show last week, Squeeb, our alien dance man, uh, he asked... He said that when the uh, cotton, the clown miss cotton candy kissing wax became available, uh, we should do a stunt where I, where we kiss each other, or me and Squeeb, um, make our uh, lips covered in this cotton candy kissing wax, and we kiss. Well, of course I don't want to kiss Squeeb, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's back in stock, baby. You know what I'm talking about, the clown this cotton candy kissing wax. Everybody is very excited about this. And let me show you. Boom! Uh, this cotton candy flavored kissing wax is second to none. We sold out of it last year. Uh, I predict we'll sell out of it again. It's a, a holiday, a Valentine's Day miracle. I got them right here. It's blue. You can't see it on the camera there because it goes away, but it's, um, it is blue cotton candy. Smells good. And, uh, it's available right now at clownmistotherescue.com. Not only, not only do you get the cotton candy kissing wax for no extra charge at all. You get a three inch clown. This loves me sticker. You slap that on whatever you want and the world knows you got a little something going. You got a little goose out your window and a little uh, heat. You're getting some heat. If you got a clown that loves me sticker on your caboose or your bumper or what have you. Ladies and gentlemen, do yourself a favor. Go to clownmistotherescue.com. Order up your clownness cotton candy kissing wax. Why? Why? Let me tell you why. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're having a little kissing contest around here, if you will. I'm not kissing Squeeb. I agree. We all agree. We sat down at a board meeting, and we all decided nobody wants to see me uh, kiss Squeeb. Uh, and then, so, we, you know, we kicked the can around and uh, figured, you know, we're asking, what else could we do? Could I kiss Robert Dog? No, he's a, a dog. I'm not going to kiss a dog. Could I kiss a... Um, 
It works just like chapstick. That's what it is. It's just the same thing as a uh, flavored chapstick. But we call it a kissing wax because if you're going to be going in for a kiss, Lord knows you're going to want to smell like cotton candy, not the calamari or whatever the hell you've been eating all night. Um, but this is what I was saying, guys. Uh, this cotton candy kissing wax is a, a, a real uh, a big deal around here. I said, no way am I going to kiss Squee. But what I will do is uh, I put all the, well, let me say this, I put all the named, all the crew names in a hat and I picked one and it wasn't Squeeb. Let's go with that. Let's, let's say that I, that's what I did. Because then we decided at, a, at totally random that I would kiss Brainina 95, who is our uh, beautiful uh, robotress um, flying the ship right now. Um, of course, she's a robot. I don't think there's any kind of uh, feelings or anything there. I don't think she's going to fall in love with me. And, of course, I'm not going to fall in love with her. But for ratings sake, to get people excited, uh, this is what we got to do. We decided we will not, I will not kiss Brainina 95 until we sell uh, at least 10 of these things. We're setting that number very low. Because uh, I know we can get there. Uh, we are, as soon as we sell 10 of these cotton candy kissing waxes, um, we will get a real kiss on our hands. Sound good? I'm gonna, uh, we got Robert Dog actually texting me the, uh, the numbers as, as they come in here. And uh, looking good so far. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you another thing or two, and then maybe we'll get back to that old-fashioned robot, robot kissing. Head to clownvistotherescue.com. All we got to do is send, t- sell 10 of these little boogers. Clownvis. Cotton candy kissing wax in stock now. I know you're looking at my ring. We're not talking about my rings. We're talking about the clown that's cotton candy kissing wax. All we got to do is sell 10, and then I get to kiss the robot. Oh, we got to uh, sign, sign the um, the Crocs. Who won the Crocs? John Gianti? All right, let's do this real quick, ladies and gentlemen. While we wait for those sales to roll in, if we can, in fact, get to 10... I'm going to sign these Crocs for John Gianti live on the air. Croc Talk. Croc Talk with Clownfish. Croc Talk. Croc Talk with Clownfish. Oh. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Croc Talk. If you were watching the Big King's Cup raffle, then you saw Big Man John Gianti win a pair of Crocs. How did he win them? I pulled his name out of a hat. I'm saying that right. It's John Gianti. Is John John won the Crocs? I do not have my notes in front of me. I'm going off memory it looks like i'm correct john said clowny v order me some crocs i haven't even looked at them yet i'm gonna assume that that's what this is and not something else i ordered yeah this is that so what we're gonna do here well you can't really see them on the on the screen here <clears throat> hold on one second guys I'm going to sign them on this. Hold on. Setting something up here. Play that again. 
I need a marker. Again, these are for John Gianti. How is his name spelt? J-O-N. Oh, I'm not putting his name on here. These are eBay specials if you want them to be, Johnny. Oh, shit. Sorry. And, uh, of course, John also gets a, um, a croc charm. Let me grab that. Clown this, uh, to the rescue.com. And that is Croc Talk. Croc Talk. Croc Talk with Clown Fish. Croc Talk. Croc Talk with Clown John W. Davis says, I hate my Valentine's birthday, but I just ordered the kissing wax so I can see a clown kiss a robot, because when else will I ever get a chance to see that? You know, uh, <clears throat> John W. Davis, you're absolutely right. In this day and age, and I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying it's a matter of fact, you do not see clowns and robots kissing like you used to. John Gianti, those are in the mail. Everybody else that was a winner of the King's Cup, your items are in the mail. And um, my man Christopher Perry, we will be setting up that Zoom meeting with you. And yes, of course, your wife and sister are welcome to come along. I will be reaching out uh, for you. I got your email, and I'll be reaching out. Christopher, thank you guys so much. How fun. Let me check something. Let me see if we got an HD moment. I would like to give you guys a Harold a moment with Harold Dufresne before we check on these numbers, before we see if I got to kiss a robot. Not a real punishment. It's been a while since I've kissed a robot. It's been a while. But I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, let me, do we have a squeeb? No, oh, he's dancing. Check in on the Squeeb dance party. Seems like a good time. I'm definitely going, definitely going in there later. Squeeb, do we have an, a Harold for any moment? I'll find it myself. All right, here's a, here it is, a moment with Harold Dufresne. Harold Dufresne and today I'm at the supermarket and you may be asking why I'm at the market but it's to give you a sweeping tip and you may be saying how are you gonna give me a sweeping tip when you're just walking around the market well if you look around at the market and keep your eyes open a lot of times there are sweeps out there they're usually hanging around the alcohol section right over here now look, Harold Dufresne won many a trips from supermarket sweepstakes like this. Just looking, coming to the market, and just keeping my eyes open. 
I've won trips to Turks and Caicos. Uh, my daughter won trips. Uh, I won tons of coolers like that because these sweeps are usually limited uh, state sweeps, which means that there's only you only can enter them from your own state, which makes the odds better. So the next time you're in a supermarket, keep your eyes open. Look for those sweeps in the alcohol aisles or anywhere else for that matter, because they're out there. And those are the best ones you can enter. So till next time, this is Harold Dufresne. Down there, boy. Get it. Into those sweepstakes now. We sold a lot. We sold a lot more than ten of those things. <laughs> we could have made the number higher. We could have made the number higher. But either way, keep buying them. Of course, if you're just joining us, where the hell have you been? Stop the music. If you're just joining us, what were you doing? That was so dang important that you missed the first thirty minutes of the show. We really set up a whole. Uh, um, what do you call it? We built Rome. We built Rome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we I, <laughs> I just got the text from Robert Dog. Yeah, we've sold, um, wow, we sold double that in about the first five minutes, and they keep going. So that's fantastic, guys. Listen, uh, clownbus to the rescue dot com. Put me back in that room, and then I'll bring. I'm. This is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna bring Brainina ninety five in here. She's a clunky robot, but it doesn't work for me to really walk into her room because there's no uh, mic or anything for for me to use in her room. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag her into, um, I guess, uh, what room am I, what squeebot room am I using? Yeah, that's called the meatloaf room. He's calling it the, Squeeb gave me a uh, tag that says the love room. Still called the meatloaf room. So I'm going to the meatloaf room to kiss Brainina 95. Can I plug the things one more time before we do it? Not that I'm stalling. Believe me, not that I'm stalling. Uh, but I do want to, um, one more time. Plug. The clown, this, uh, cotton candy kissing wax. This is why I'm about to kiss a dang robot. You guys are too good to us here. Buying it up. I love you guys. Thank you. Uh, and again, it's a quality product. Again, every tube, every tube comes with a free sticker. So you order two tubes, two stickers. Plus, the more you order, uh, the more you save on shipping. That first chunk of shipping is always going to be a flat fee. After that, it gets cheap as the dickens. So uh, make sure you place multiple orders. And again, sticker with every tube. So you want to buy a tube for yourself, you want to buy a tube for your sweetheart, you get two clown with stickers. Put them on your caboose, let the world know clown loves you. All right, put me in the meatloaf room. This is the meatloaf room? All right, gang, we're going to do it. We, um, let's just start that again. I've never done, I've never actually brought her in here this way. Let me just tell you guys, there's never been, that I know of, and this is, it is totally legal, but there's never been a robot alien kiss live on a, a YouTube stream, so this may be, um, this may be history in the making. 
Um, <laughs> all right, now I'm now I'm actually stalling. Uh, Brainina, are you nervous? Not really. I don't have feelings. It's just <laughs> a silly stunt to sell cotton candy kissing wax. Yeah, this is just a silly stunt. Um, so should we just do it? Get into it? I'm ready when you are. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever. A robot and a clown kissing. Record, me and Brainina were both wearing the Clown Vest Cotton Candy Kissing Wax available now at clownvest to the rescue.com. And uh, I'm ex- I'm licking my lips with glee because I taste like I just kissed it a I taste like I just kissed it a carny. But it was a robot gal. People are excited. Look, man, I was a friend of the whole um, Ross and Rachel saga. I get it, you know. I get it. You guys are cool. Very cool. We're heading home. This is exciting, man. We've been in space for a couple weeks, and it honestly feels... um, I'm losing touch with reality. But! Did you like being in here? I could pull Brian in here any time, but she's a, she's a, she fits better in her room. Thank you guys very much. All your chats. Boy, you guys are really into that. You guys are real weirdos. You guys are absolute weirdos, man. Well, hey, that's the way she goes. Can we call... We didn't even discuss Harold Dufresne's video. I was so excited to kiss that robot after selling these, um, whatchamacallits. Numbers are still going up. Thank you, guys, man. And listen, I say thank you, guys, uh, because, you know, we make the product available. But um, uh, thank yourself for ordering it because it really is a quality product. Um, and we're shipping these out right away. If you order it, you'll get it. You want to make it a ha uh, Valentine's Day gift? Make it a Valentine's Day gift. <clears throat> Speaking of Valentine's Day gifts, while I have you guys on the line here, uh, if you go to clownvistotherescue.com, you will also see marked down are the personal Clownvis video telegrams, which are on sale for Valentine's Day. I am. Uh, I took myself off Cameo. I'm still on Cameo, but I just made myself unavailable uh, because I can't have as... I can't get, be as, um, I can't make the videos as magical as easily, and also they take a big fee, uh, but so I've I marked the fee down below what it ever was on Cameo, or what it uh, was on uh, ClownvisTheRescue.com, for, from now until through Valentine's Day. I have always been a Valentine's Day message clown, since platoons were in style. Pantaloons were in style. But um, it's my favorite thing to do. So go to clownvisandrescue.com. You can order a Valentine's Day uh, video telegram. Get in on that early so your date knows you're not squirrely. It's 
see how we made that rhyme. I do kind of want to go to that um, alien dance party. Should I, should I? Can I do shout outs now? Oh no, we didn't. We we're, I'm trying to recap. Look, I'm gonna play it again. I, I know we just watched it, man, but I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Harold Dufresne's, um uh, moment again. All right, guys. I don't even see your comments. Where the hell are you? Who am I? Where am I? I'm going to read some of your comments right now before I do that. I'm not going to forget, Harold, but I want to show that this is live. I want to say what's up to John GG. What's good? James Ralph. Liking it. Galski. Liking it. Tony Borelli said, the boss did a video for me and it was just utterly perfect. Hey, if I did, if I ever did a, um, a video telegram for you, drop a comment right now. And without me coaching you, Say how it was. Just say, say how it was. Because it's a 100% money back guarantee. And I've given the money back uh, once that I remember. And the guy was a turd. But I did not tell him he was a turd. I gave his money right back. And did that. And I'll do that with any situation. If anybody is ever not happy, I'll give you your money back without a back and forth. You don't got to worry about that, all right? Uh, in the comments, I see there is proof of concept. Telegrams are amazing. Uh, Mr. Klamas does wonderful videos. He's made several for me. They were all first class. Uh, Lewis says, I dug my videos. All my friends and relatives love them. Booty Muncher said he did one for my boss last year that was legendary. Shayna says you did one for me for the holidays. Uh, you guys, um, it's my favorite thing to do. Let's, I know we, this is a little unprecedented, but I want to watch that Harold Dufresne, uh, Harold Dufresne moment video again. Because what Harold is talking about this, do I got to play the... Um, Look, a- a- Romo, uh, our friend Romo in the comments just said she loves the Harold Dufresne segment. So we will watch it again. The question is, do I got to do that opener again? Do I got to play the swamp opener again? Or can I just, um, Squeeb, do I got to play the swamp opener again? Joanna says the video you did for my son and f- uh, on Father's Day was perfect. Thank you, Joanna. Squeeb, do I have to play the whole opener again? Or can I just play the video? I don't want to play the opener all right, fine, whatever. Thank you guys in the comments. Thank you. All right, let's have a moment with Harold Dufresne. Everyone listen close. Hey, this is Harold Dufresne. And today I'm at the supermarket and you may be asking why I'm at the market, but it's to give you a sweeping tip. And you may be saying, how are you gonna give me a sweeping tip when you're just walking around the market? Well, if you look around at the market and keep your eyes open, a lot of times there are sweeps out there. They're usually hanging around the alcohol section right over here. Now look, Harold Dufresne won many a trips from supermarket sweepstakes like this just looking coming to the market and just keeping my eyes open right i've won trips right. to turks and caicos uh, my daughter won trips uh, i won tons of coolers like that because these sweeps are usually limited uh, state sweeps which means that there's only you only could enter them from your own state which makes the odds better so the next time you're in a supermarket keep your eyes open look for those sweeps in the alcohol aisles or anywhere else for that matter because they're out there and those are the best ones you can enter. So till next time, this is Harold Dufresne. Do I gotta watch the whole outro again? Do I gotta sit through the whole outro or can I be done with it? I get it, There's, uh, it's Louisiana, I get it. Those things creep me out, those bugs creep me out. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment with Harold Dufresne. So good. Uh, now, I will just recap. I won't spend a lot of time on this, but Harold, 
Thank you very much. You can applaud. Hero, hero, hero. Hero, 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 hero. I love you, Harold, and I do too. Um, settle down. Stop. Uh, I love Harold just as much as you guys, but you can't start chanting like that. It, it messes up my th- my train of thought. Uh, Harold, thank you so much. And uh, as you guys know, and if you don't, maybe I should not say that. Maybe I should say if you don't know, uh, Harold Dufresne, the guy who uh, spearheads that segment, is a, um, a an accomplished sweepstakes winner. And I specifically asked him, I said, hey, man, um, shoot us one about winning sweepstakes. Now, this was advice. He's touched on this a little in the past when I interviewed him on the show. Uh, but this is a probably one of my favorite um, words of advices. I mean, something that just is that is good advice. You know, his advice before was to be persistent in life. And that is you know, that there's certain rules in life that you have to establish and have that should, should certainly be one of them. Any successful person has uh, dealt with um, persistence and perseverance. Um, but you want to be a sweepstakes winner? You want to feel like a sweepstakes winner? You got to be a sweepstakes winner. And to do that, well, you got to figure out how to beat the game. Uh, of course, you got to play to win. But what that tip Harold just gave us says is that find your local smaller sweepstakes. And what I would think if I didn't know Harold and trust him with all my heart, I would, uh, I would think that any, uh, tr- um, giveaway game and big, uh, on a big scale like that is fake and phony and nobody gets the boat. Nobody gets the trailer. Nobody gets the Miller light car or whatever, you know, but what Harold is proving to me and proving to all of us, if we can believe what comes out of this show, which we shouldn't believe at all. There's a lot of, uh, you know, we got to use our imagination sometimes, you know. I mean, um, I'm going to go to the sweeps. St- I'm going to go to the grocery store. And I'm going to look for sweepstakes just like Harold told me that is the best idea in the world. Be a big fish in a small pond, all right? Don't go trying to, but look, you can try to win Super Bowl tickets. Harold Dufresne did that too. But hop in on them local uh, grocery store sweep steaks. Let's do shout outs. <laughs> see your thumbs out there if you're using your imagination. Shout out to Fago Gang. I want to give a big shout, a personal shout out to Willie Hayes and the Fago Gang representing, um, making Juggalos look good across the nation. Fago Gang. Check them out. Also, guys, before I get into the shout-outs, do me a favor. You want to have some fun? Follow me on TikTok, at Clownvis on TikTok. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun. I've been uh, shooting little... Um, I'm just starting to, but I'm, I've been shooting after... Um, after show little videos around the studio you guys can see kind of behind the scenes um here on the spaceship and laramie studios uh see the crew off camera in ways you don't see them uh here on the show so make sure you're on tiktok all right and if you're if you don't like tiktok no problem don't mean nothing to me but we're gonna have we're gonna be having a lot of fun on there all right will i be doing little uh chinese dances yeah Probably if I'm lucky, but for now, I'm doing my own thing over there on TikTok, and it's a lot of fun at Clownvis. Uh, let's build up those follower numbers so I can go live. Once we can go live, we can have some after party fun at TikTok. 
that Clownbus. Make sure you're following me. And if you're a big Clownbus head, like you should be, uh, I'm going to be on uh, Talk Culture Podcast tomorrow night. That's with our friend Kid Cadet, friend of the show. Um, they'll be interviewing me. They dig deep. I will post. Uh, I'll post it on my Instagram or uh, Facebook or one of those. Talk Culture Podcast. Manyaro. Good? Hey, if you uh, want to make a shout out on the next live show, all you got to do is send a $5 or more donation to Venmo at Clamus or PayPal Clamus and Rescue at gmail.com. We will make all your shout out dreams come true. Just let me know what you want me to say. Check out these shout outs from. Oh, check this out. It's starting with Harold Dufrani himself. A Harold Dufrani shout out to Patty. It's a Patty appreciation shout out. Patty, the uh, den mother of the unofficial Clown Miss Mafia. Patty, we all appreciate you. Enough said. That was said from Harold, but from everyone's heart. Another one from Harold Dufresne. A Harold Dufresne shout out to the newest sweeper in the sweeping world and one of the best after show chat regular, one of the best after show chat regular guests we have on the show, Genevieve Gould. Keep doing what you do. Genevieve, you're a sweepstakes enterer now. You're a sweeper now. I want to hear live action winning or losing from you. Let me know. Genevieve. I want to report. Say, Clownbus, I filled out a hundred sweepstakes. This is how many I've won. Okay? We need to put this stuff in a spreadsheet and figure it out, for Christ's sake. Another one from Harold Dufresne. A triple dip! Shout out, just because I fully support the show and I appreciate and I enjoy all the entertainment you have brought me and the entire Clownbus of the Rescue community. I'll give you a three-honk salute. Thank you, Harold, for the triple dip. Zachary Cochran. Happy belated birthday to Matt Sharon. He says, uh, I'm not sure how they celebrate these things in other countries, but I I hope the Canadian goose was loose. Much love, Bahiga, brother. Zach, going out to the birthday man, Matt. Uh, here's one from Patty herself. We just mentioned ye. We just mentioned ye. Personal Patty shout out to Travis Lands. What a guy. Uh, Travis Lands. In the words of Werner Hor- uh, in the word, <laughs> it's hard to say words of Werner Herzog. In the words of Werner Herzog, the universe is monstrously indifferent to the presence of man. So, you know, happy early birthday. Whoop, whoop. Nice one. Patty to Travis. Classic names, by the way. Patty, Travis. Small town, classic American names. This is Patty. This is Travis, my children. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one as if, well, I haven't said the name Zach enough. I'm saying it again, but a different Zach, a shout out from Zach 2.0 to the original Zach, ba 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 booty muncho in the comments. Got my first big boy guitar this weekend and I love it. Your recommendation was spot on and it sounds fantastic. Zachy 2.0, what'd you get? What kind of guitar? This is an unofficial Clamus Mafia early birthday by he got to the one and only Azrael226 Travis Lands. Travis, we know you've got a hungry heart, having spent so long waiting on a sunny day, born to run through a secret garden in your brilliant disguise. Hey, Kool-Aid, only to end up spending your glory days dancing in the dark down on that thunder road. Travis, You never can tell how things will end, but at least for today, know that you are loved and we speak your name. Bahiga. How about that? 
I think they were on a, a Bruce Springsteen tear. Is that correct? I was looking for Philadelphia. I didn't see Philadelphia. That's great. Unofficial Calamus Mafia sending love to Travis. What's this? Another unofficial Calamus Mafia. Oh, no, I read that one already. How about this one? From Buffy Sanitize in the comments. We see all the time. Buffy and Elo G want to shout out to Don Gatto and ZB, the Wonder Cat, who sadly departed this mortal coil today. Onward, buddy. Thanks for all the headaches and all the laughter. Good cat. Good cat. All right, well, Buffy's cat died. Sometimes I... Sometimes I get into the shout-outs and I don't realize they're going to be sad. Can I read it again? With the sad music? Okay. Uh, and this is not to be funny. I'm trying to be sincere. I pro- it's probably going to backfire. And now it's going to seem like I'm trying to be funny. Uh... Buffy, I'm going to freestyle it. You had a cat named Don Gatto. The cat's name was Don Gatto. Cool name. Also known as ZB the Wonder Cat. If you love your cat, it's going to have about six or seven names. I get that. So, um, your cat died. I'm sorry. Trying to be sincere. But I'm also a clown doing shout-outs to sad music. And, uh... I don't know how to get out of this. I see in the comments Matt S. had a cat that died, too. Who else has had a cat die? Let's all talk about our dead cats. Oh, Seaver's gotta get going. No way. We'll turn it around, Seaver. Sorry, Seaver. Stick around. Seaver wants to leave because I'm talking about dead cats. We got a couple more shout outs and then, uh, and then Seaver, you can go after that. All right. Sorry, Buffy. I love you. And I've, I've lost cats. Hey, check this one out from Genevieve. A shout out to Harold, Sonny, Bono, Dufraney himself. Well, that seems like a couple peas in a pod right there. Genevieve and Harold. From Clem Treadway, dearest Clownvis. Happy early birthday shout out to my dearest sister, husband, brother, wife, Travis Lands. I miss your cuddles, but I will allow you to take me out for the best pizza around. Chicago style. Love the ever wonderful Clem. Have it your way, Treadway. What did I say? Did I say Clem? There's no L. I think it's just Cam. Cam. From Little Aaron to Guzman. Are you kidding me? We got a shout out from Little Aaron the Salt Shaker to Guzman. Check it out. Uh, this shout out is for Clownvis. It's me, dog. Thank you for bringing us laughter and happiness once again this week. I see all of your hard work you put in to make Clownvis of the Rescue, and I appreciate and admire you. You definitely get us through more than you know. Gracias, amigo. XOXO. Little Aaron. That makes me feel good. Thank you very much. It's my ple- It's all my pleasure. I've said 110 times or more. Probably, if we've done the show 218 times, I say it about five times a show. I don't know, over a thousand times I've said this. I appreciate you guys. One more shout out coming in. Hot, hot, hot. Going to Anti Crystal from Nadia. Thanks for the Sea Monkeys, Anti Crystal. I love them. They made me feel like David Hasselhoff's chia hair perked right up. Oh, they made they made David Hasselhoff's chia hair perk right up. Nicholas. Nadia, I mean. Nadia must have a David Hasselhoff. 
I like trying to deduce what uh, the uh, backstory is here because it sounds like you have a David Hasselhoff chia pet. Should we get a chia pet on this show? I've been thinking about it. Let me know in the comments if there's any good chia pets out there. If there really is a David Hasselhoff chia pet, I'd love to get that. Of course, I'm a uh, Baywatch fan from days of yore. All right, guys, that's the shout out. If you want to make a shout out, uh, make a. Hey, and that's the bottom line. If you want to make a shout out, all you got to do is send a five dollar more donation than Glamour. I don't got to say it. It's all down here on the scroll. Uh, thank you guys so much. We're having a really good time. I think I'll just end this on the, um, can I go to the alien dance party and, and, <laughs> and this in the party? I don't know if I'll fit in there. Uh, I'll tell you guys one more time before I dance my way out of here. Um, do yourself a favor, head to clown this to the rescue. Dad cam. Get in on that sweet, sweet clown miss cotton candy kissing wax. My lips still taste like cotton candy robots. Uh, again, with every tube comes a free three inch. That's a big sucker. Three inch clown miss loves me sticker. These pictures are not to scale. The sticker is much bigger than the stick. But do yourself a favor, go to clownmasforthescue.com. Thank you guys for ordering that up enough that I got to kiss a robot. That was something different. Uh, if Squeeb is partying in that room still, I'll go do that with him. And we'll wrap this up. What room was he in? All right. All right, I'll go in there. I'm coming in, Squeeb. Everybody come in with me. Brainina. Go in there. Enough of that. Thank you, Harold Dufresne. Squeeb, get out of my way. Get out of my way. I love you guys. My name is Clownvis. We will see you on Sunday where the love fest will begin. Squeeb is changing characters. Squeeb is going to be a little love monkey all February, I think. You're in my way. You're in my way. Don't forget to put your thumbs on this, please, everybody. Please, 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 God, hit that like button. Hit that thumb button if you know what's good for you. Facebook.com. The goose got sucked out the window. I don't know. I don't have anything. I don't. We don't have a goose anymore. But we'll try to get a goose back in here. with us, Beaver.